What's going on everybody, Mortem here, this time bringing you a bit of a discussion video, I would say more than anything else, and as the title of the video probably would have told you, that discussion is about playing games on story mode, and why, frankly, I think more people should be willing to do so. For some context, especially if you're new to my channel, and even possibly this being the first video of mine you've watched, I review a ton of games mostly RPGs, and specifically, I review them after getting 100% on them. Getting 100% on an RPG, more often than not, includes an achievement requiring beating it on its highest difficulty. This has included games like The Witcher 3, Prey, Baldur's Gate 1, Baldur's Gate 2, Pathfinder Kingmaker, Divinity Original Sin 2, the list goes on. But my point is I've done this quite a bit, and I've got to tell you, most of the time, that hard mode achievement feels like a waste of time. If you're not doing it for weirdly specific YouTube content like myself, it's really a time sink that I have to tell you just feels unnecessary. And especially in a world where CRPGs, honestly just RPGs in general, tend to be very long and densely packed games, I think most people would benefit from just turning the difficulty down, putting it on whatever easy or story difficulty that game has, and getting the most out of the story and the content, and moving on. Now, obviously, there's this weird social stigma around doing that, because, you know, how do you prove you're a hardcore gamer if you don't, right? But again, while I actually do get those achievements specifically for content reasons, honestly, from my perspective, the perspective of someone who often gets those achievements, playing the game on that difficulty rarely adds anything to the experience. That's not to say it never does. Honestly, I think you should play on whatever difficulty you're comfortable with at the end of the day. While I would say if you're enjoying the video game, and even after beating the game or playing enough of it that you want to start over and try a new build and then maybe crank up the difficulty or something like that, in my experience, the difficulty curve with games like this, RPGs and things that is, more often than not, the higher difficulties are just an extra time sink. And in some ways, that can be fun to engage with, but reality is, in a world where we're often scrapped for time, I think playing games in a way that honestly doesn't really add much to the experience in most cases really isn't the way to go. I am fully aware that no matter how I phrase this or how I choose to convey these feelings, there will always be those people who watch this and go, Nah, bro, but I'm an elite gamer, so I have to. And there's definitely those people out there who think playing video games on their highest difficulty is a personality. And truth be told, I'm happy for those people too. If that's the way you get the most out of your games, then go crazy. However, not everyone feels that way. Seeing comments across my YouTube channel and things about when I beat these games on hard mode and just kind of people's general reaction to those things and talking about how even they themselves might not be as good at a game or something. For those people, I've got to tell you, just turn the difficulty down. Play it on story mode. Watch how quickly you burn through that otherwise very long game. That way you see all that content. And then if you've enjoyed it, start stepping the difficulty up. Because at that point, you'll know that it's because you want to play more of that game and not just because you're trying to punish yourself while also trying to see the story. So to summarize, honestly, broad opinion, I think you should play video games in whatever manner or difficulty is best for you. Moreover, I think this weird stigma that comes with playing games on an easier difficulty is stupid, and that's coming from someone who often beats these games on their hardest difficulty for YouTube content most of the time, it does not add anything to the experience, and you honestly would just save yourself a bunch of time by turning that difficulty down and enjoying the game you paid for. Because for me personally, I am very passionate about video games, as my long-term watchers can probably tell. And for me, I want to share that passion with other people and get them to play as many of these games as possible and have fun while they are doing it. Because again, those higher difficulties oftentimes just do not add anything to the experience 9 out of 10, other than a sense of personal accomplishment that does admittedly sometimes come with doing so. There you go, guys. Hope it wasn't too rambly for you, but just kind of my thoughts on enjoying the games you paid for, honestly. By all means, let me know how you feel about the subject down in the comments section below. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube jazz. But regardless of any of that, truly, just thank you guys so much for watching. May you wander in wisdom and have an amazing day.